Okay, let's look at the exists and, and uh, not exists in this case, used with a correlated subquery. So here we see a subquery where we're selecting the customer number from the order table where the custno, the order custno equals the customer custno. Notice inside the subquery, I'm referencing the C table here, the customer table, that custno. So this is a correlated subquery because in the subquery I'm referencing a column from the outer query. All right, and all I'm really asking for in this one is select all customers that don't exist in the order table. And that's our and that's our not exists. Now we've talked about equal and greater than and less than and so on uh, with single uh, values out of a subquery. We talked about the in and not in with multiple values at potentially multiple values out of a subquery. But what does exists and not exists do? So let's look at that those features. The first thing to note is exists returns the outer row from the outer query if and only if the subquery returns one or more rows. If the subquery returns no rows, then the exists is false and it doesn't return the outer row. Okay? The not exists is just the reverse, of course. The not exists here returns the outer row if and only if the subquery returns zero rows. So in essence, we don't really have to go get any rows in the subquery with an exists and not exists. We just have to determine if there are any rows in the subquery. So that's a big difference. We're not going in and, and, and getting the rows and returning them anywhere. We're just determining whether they exist or not exist. Okay? So a correlated subquery, as we said before, remember, fetches the first row from the outer query, plugs the value in the inner query, executes the inner query, and the inner query just evaluates the operator and just says, hey, does it exist? Does it not exist? Do I get any rows or not get any rows? It doesn't have to do anything with the rows from the inner query. It just has to determine if any exists. And then it passes that back out to the outer query. If the outer query is an exists, then we say if there are any matches in the inner query, then return the outer row. If it's a not exists, we say if there are no matches, then return the outer row. Okay, and of course, this since is correlated, it repeats for every row of the outer query. So that's our exists and not exists. Here's a little example. Let's assume that every department has employees. So I'm going to insert a new department, Department 10, G5, which has is a new department, and that department has no employees now. Now I want to go and do a select, and I've been told clean up the departments table, find all departments that have no employees, and then you can go and get rid of them. So the first job is how do I find all departments with no employees? As soon as you hear that kind of uh, a request, you, you think of a not exists. So I'm going to select some columns from the department table where not exists, select star from employee, E, where e.depno equals d.depno, and that references the department number here from the outer query. And then it loops through. It says, okay, department one, are there any employees? Yes, I found some. Department two, yes, I found some. Since it's a not exist, do not return department one, do not return department two. When I get to department 10, are there any employees? No, there are not. Therefore, it's a not exist, so return department 10. So that's the situation with an exists and a non-exists.